to have just beaten Everton 2 0 at Anfield. Chris, I'm coming straight to you. I'd say, yeah, thank you. Thank you over there. Thank you. I see that. that is the, the kind of response I needed. Um, <laughs> where do you start? 2-0 um, to the Reds. Look, Liverpool have been absolutely crap so far this season, but never underestimate what a derby win can do. Yeah! Get the badge in, Paul. <laughs> Get the badge! Shut the badge off, man! <laughs> Shut your badge! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, Chris, get in! Get in, mate, fucking brilliant, wasn't it? Honestly, like, you the come mic. in there and you think to yourself, <laughs> hey, I'm going to take the fucking mic, it's my fucking mic. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, you go in there and I'm like, I'm a little bit fucking nervous for this game, to be honest with you, Chloe. And from the first minute until the last minute to a man, every single one of them was fucking superb, yeah. weren't they? And, they, and I can't... <laughs> I can't quite get that that's a Sean Dice team we've just faced, to be honest with you, because they didn't look nothing like a Sean Dice team, did they? And yet, Liverpool were absolutely brilliant. We got that goal that Cody Gakpo needs. Oh, yeah. like, he was a different player after he scored brilliant. that goal. Gakpo. Um, <laughs> yeah, he was a completely yeah. different player after he scored that goal. We got Darwin Nunes causing fucking havoc. And we got Stefan Bajcetic, who's an eight in the mould of another eight who's played at Liverpool for a very long time uh, as an 18-year-old. That, that is a fucking massive performance in a major derby how many times have you seen young kids lose their head in Merseyside derbies that's not to be underestimated ever what he's done there today in the middle of the park in a position that he hasn't played is look like a proper first team player and dominate a midfield the coming into this was their strength against our weakness coming out of it was our strength against their weakness oh thank you thank you for the microphone back I, I can go back to my job can I uh, anyway, Quinn, hey. oh, you're about seven foot. Um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, What's up? From, from Vegas, from Vegas, from Vegas with my lady luck right here. Oh, Darlene, get in. And ben. Right, What's up? what did you think of that first? Stefan Bajetic, absolute masterclass. That lad is 18. He is simply unbelievable. I love that kid. He doesn't shake. He doesn't, he doesn't stutter. He doesn't worry about nothing. He's out there giving him the business. This is our first derby game, right? This, I mean, we've been to so many. I mean, been Lakers, Celtics, uh, Red Sox, Yankees. Man, I, I saw Ollie, Fra <laughs> Ollie Frazier. They're all shite. Harry Potter and that dickhead blonde kid. They're all shite. This is the rivalry, bro. This is the derby. This is what we came here for. This man been here for his first time. I mean, give him some kind of analysis. I got nothing. I'm just so happy to be here. <laughs> that is what it is about, though, darling. That is exactly what it's about. The emotions. I mean, I've never seen so many flags in a stadium before. The atmosphere was absolutely electric. I mean, what did you think for your first derby? I, I think I agree with you, Chloe. I think the atmosphere was totally electric, and Quinn and I actually participated in the flag waving. So that was that was a first for us. My shoulders. She did a great job. That is some hard graft that I wasn't ready. <laughs> And they gave me the, the one as tall as that. It was about 100 feet high. I hope don't watch the replay. Back to Darlene. It was a lot of fun, but I just want to say it's so good to see the boys in form again. I think, like you said, Stefan Bacicic is a star in the making, and I love watching his skill. Yeah, yes. he was absolutely brilliant. I agree with that, Ben. It's his first game. First game ever at Anfield. Yes. What a game to be at, eh? Absolutely. Um, Liverpool obviously haven't been great all season. That goes out of the window for today. We saw some of the big players step up. Yeah, Everton, absolutely crap. But those <laughs> lads tonight, they wore the shirt with pride. They showed me desire. Yeah. They showed me intensity. That looked like the old Liverpool. Even if Everton would have played well, I'm still... We it, we would have taken away that. Uh, that was fantastic. Yeah. And like you were saying, Basic is at for 18, the composure, it's fantastic. Yeah. And Gakpo getting his first goal, I called it. I thought Cody Gakpo on that was, was brilliant. On the half turn, he is so, so hard to deal with. Um, obviously, once he gets the goal, you can put that out of the system. Now, you've yeah. got your first, you've got it at Anfield, you've got it in a Merseyside derby. Yeah. Let's hope that this can bounce, can, can take us into Newcastle and obviously Real Madrid. Oh, we have some st uh, real st stiff competition coming up, so we yeah. have to keep that energy. And I, I cannot wait to come back. I can't wait to come back. That's going to be hard to top this, but I can't wait to come back. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, you know, Champions Leagues and all that. Come on. <laughs> Courtney, um, 
the cop you were on it today it was absolutely electric that is why I come football games not just to see the Reds but to sing my heart out on the cop and support every single lad in red tonight that is what we did and didn't they half respond to us yeah it was the first time in a while I've been at a match and lost my voice before the first half even ended yeah. um, I definitely think like the flags just being there like the flag day that the spine cop did it was just amazing um, it was just uh, from even the coach community I went to that it was amazing the atmosphere and just the build up to it and I just think I've said quite a lot this season that's what we've missed I think the atmosphere yeah we've had like draws and that but maybe them draws could have been different if we all got behind the team and I hope it continues now with the next game the next game because that Real Madrid game if we come with that atmosphere it's going to lift so much because I think today's lifted the confidence of the players enough as it is yeah hopefully it does obviously look when the Reds are down we're here we're here to support them to lift them up hopefully today's game does give them confidence there is still half a season to go red men yep you know top four people can say it's out of sight but dream dream big there's a champions league round of 16 that we're in here against real madrid kick them out and you just never know believe in the reds uh, <laughs> somebody say amen amen no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah oh what, what a win does to you right look at me i'm going mental uh, anyway nice one thank you uh, for watching this video to subscribe uh, and do go and watch all our other content uh, on red men plus final word coming to you uh, tomorrow that should be interesting uh, i think you might see a paul there as well uh, yeah but nice one Get it! each and every single month you could be entered into a prize draw for generally speaking some signed liverpool memorabilia you just need to be a club legend at redmenplus.com Honestly, we've given away some absolute belters over the last year, year and a half, and you could be the next winner.